First problem integral of zero to one. Better than the online one. Doing the next problem. You have textbook. Get it from someone. So, how to do this problem? Integral of 0 to 1 x divided by x square plus 1 dx. Right. So, if you observe, the denominator is second degree and the numerator is first degree. So, numerator should be the derivative of denominator. So, what we can do is we can substitute. Substitute x square plus 1 is equal to t, which implies 2x dx will be equal to dt. So 2x dx will be equal to dt. Now, how will the limits change? When the lower limit of x is 0, when you take x is equal to 0, you will get t is equal to 1. And for the upper limit, when x is equal to 1, you will get t is equal to 2. So the whole Value will change as integral of so zero should be replaced with one and one should be replaced with two, right? So x dx needs to be replaced with dt by two, right? So dt by two divided by t. So what will be the answer? One by two times. Integral of dt by t is going to be log t between 1 to 2. So this will be equal to half into log 2 minus log 1, or this is going to be half of log 2 because log 1 is how much? Zero. This answer will be log 2 divided by. So you can't do that, you will not get the same answer. Because you have shifted the variable, no? these limits 0 to 1 are with respect to x, but you shifted that variable x to some other variable t. See. First, what you will do, you will solve this again, bring it back to x and then substitute. That is differentiation. What you did is differentiation. That is differentiation of definite integral, which is not there in CBS. I'm not sure you can learn in some. That is generally used to find the maximum minimum of a function. If they give the function itself as an integral of something, then you will. You will first find the integrand, you will find the value, and then you will substitute the limit. Here, shall I proceed? Next one is uh, 
uh, integral of 0 to pi by 2. Input of sine pi into cos power pi times pi d pi. Okay. So here if you see, uh, we have trigonometric function sine and cos, which are the derivatives of each other. So, but if I have to directly approach this problem, I am able to see an issue here with the square root. So, I'll try to eliminate the square root. For that, what can we do? So, what should we do? I have to eliminate the square root. On substitute t for six, they would find it. Any idea? Like think, think what manipulation you can do with respect to trigonometry. See, generally, had it been a problem, if I say eliminate the square root, what will you put inside the square value inside the square root as square of some value, right? So what I do is just put sine phi is equal to t square. Why to complicate it? We'll just try that and see. So I will substitute sine phi is equal to t square, except because cos power 5 phi, I can always write it as cos power 4 into cos phi. Right? So if I say sin phi is equal to d square, then I have cos phi d phi is equal to 2 d dt. Accept it. Right? It is a simple thing. Now, if I see, if I do a rough work of how the question is going to get manipulated, with the root of d square into this cos power pi pi is there. Now I will write it as cos power 4 pi into cos pi d pi. But what is this cos pi d pi according to this? It will be 2 d d. So it is root of d square into cos power 4 pi. Can I write it as cos square pi, the whole square, into this will be 2 t d d. Am I clear with this? Observe what I did. Now. So, I am able to get an idea that yes, this logic will work. So, what we do is start writing prior work. So, integral, I am not going to change the limits as well. Square root of the base of sine phi, I write it as t square. Cos power phi phi, I will again write it as cos square phi, the whole square to cos phi, t phi. Right? Now, tell me what are going to be the limits with respect to the substitution. When phi is equal to 0, when the lower limit is 0, what will be the value of t square? It is also phi is 0, t is also 0. So you should not write the limit of t square, you should write the limit of t. Why t? Because this cos phi d phi will get converted in terms of t. Okay. So when phi is equal to pi pi, what will happen to the value of t? So here when I substitute pi pi 2, sine pi by 2 is 1, t square is 1, t will be. Okay, so the limit will get changed as 0 to 1, right? So integral of 0 to 1, root of t square is going to give me a t into cos square pi, I write it as 1 minus sin square pi the whole square into what is cos pi d pi? It is going to be 2t dt, right? So integral of 0 to t, t into 1 minus, again in the place of sin square pi, Sine pi is t square. So sine square pi will be t power 4. 1 minus t power 4 into 2t t. So t power 4 the whole square plus. So t into 1 minus t power 4 the whole square into 2t t. Right. Now it is simple. It is equal to 1. So, which implies integral of 0 to 1. 2t into t is going to be 2t square into 1 minus t power 4, the whole square is 1 plus t power 8 minus t power 4 times dt. Now, tell me what is going to be the value. This implies 2 into integral of 0 to 1, t square plus t power 10 minus 2 into t power 6. Right? This part you guys can integrate. So what will be the answer? 2 into 
integral of t square will be t2 by 3 plus integral of t power 10 will be t power 11 by 11 minus 2 into integral of t power 6 will be t power 7 by 7 between 0 to 1. So, sub keep substituting the upper limit and the lower limit. So, I am doing it in a sense so that I can save page. So, here if I substitute this 1, so I will get 2 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 11 minus 1, 2 by 7 minus when you substitute the lower limit, the 0, 0, and 0. So, answer will be minus 0. So, what will be the answer? 2 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 11 minus 2 by 7. Take it as the and then solve it. Let me give you the final answer. So, that part I am giving you. 130 by 2. So, 130 by 231 is the experience. So, I hope the logic is clear. Make a note of this. Not one thirty. How much? Six. Thirty three into seven is twenty. Sciences is seventy seven plus twenty one. Seventy seven plus twenty one is ninety eight. Ninety eight minus thirty three. Sir, fifty-four. One thirty by two thirty. One thirty. What is the answer? Fifty-four. Come again. So eleven. Eleven. Seventy-seven plus twenty-one. Ah, sixty-six. Sir, I get sixty-four. Minus 66 is up to 54. Hold on. What is the answer? Final answer. Then. 6 4. So that part I mean, it's not my head. 64 by 231. So this part we'll see. Moving on to the next part. So integral of integral of 0 to 1, sine inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square. That's it. So you put x is equal to tan theta, which implies dx is equal to secant square theta d theta. So, when x is equal to 0, theta is 0. When x is equal to 1, 1 is equal to tan theta, then theta will be equal to pi by 4. So, what will be the answer? Integral of 0 to pi by 4 sine inverse of 2 tan, 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta into, in the place of dx, I can write it as secant square theta. So, secant square theta and 1 plus tan square theta will get cancelled. So, why? Sin inverse of sin to theta. So, it will be 1 plus tan square theta into secant square theta d theta. Right? So, this will be integral of 0 to pi by 4 sin inverse of or I will directly write it as 2 theta. Can I? So 2 theta into secant square theta d theta. Am I right? So this will be equal to 2 into first function into integral of second function. 
integral of second function minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of second function right so this limit between 0 to pi by 2 so this will be equal to 2 into theta into tan theta and what is the integral of tan theta log of secant theta between 0 to pi by 2 so when you start substituting the limits so 2 into when I substitute the upper limit I'll get pi by 4 into tan pi by 4 which is 1 minus log of secant pi by 4 secant pi by 4 is root 2 minus and I substitute the lower limit, I'll get 0 into tan 0, which is 0, minus log of secant 0. Secant 0 is 1. So log 1 is 0. So we get the answer as 5 by 2 minus 2 log root. Or 5 by 2 minus log root. Both are vectors. Or this can also be written as 5 by 2 minus log root. Both are vectors. So here, they just keep checking the answer again. Which format have they given? This one. So let's see the next one. Integral of 0 to 2 x into root of x plus 2. So I told you, right, wherever you have a square, you need to put the value inside the square root as t square and then plus 2. So they are given that again. Put x plus 2 is equal to t square. On differentiating this, I get dx is equal to 2 t d. Now we need to keep changing the limits. When x is equal to 0, t is equal to 2. To 2. And when x is equal to 2, t is equal to 2. Absolutely. So when I put x is equal to 0 here, I get 2 is equal to t square, so t is root 2. When I put x is equal to 2 here, 2 plus 2, 4, so t square will be 4, t will be equal to 2. So the whole integral will change as integral of 2, 2, 2, 2. Into, in the place of x, what I can put is t square minus 2. Well, this 2 will go to the other side. So, t square minus 2 into root of x plus 2 is going to give us t and you have dx equal to 2t d2. So, 2 into integral of t power 4 minus 2 t square d2. Sir? Will be equal to uh, between two, 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 two. So this will be 2 into t power 5 by 5 minus 2 into t cube by 3 between the limits root 2, 2, 2. So 2 into, I am going to get the value as 32 by 5 minus 16 by 3 minus of 2, 2 power 5 is how much? Which one? So, uh, minus t power 5 is how much? Uh, if you substitute root 2, it will be 4 root 2 divided by 5 minus 2 into 2 root 2. So, 4 root 2 divided by 3. So, when you solve this, you get a final value. Tell me what the final is. Sir? Ah. Sir, why are we not taking minus 2? Where minus 2? In the T. Where is minus 2? Huh? So, T square will be equal to 4. 
in the limit. Uh, are you asking what plus or minus two? Yes, sir. You can take either of the values all of them. See, when you take plus or minus two, see it's like this term. Suppose I want to find the value of this quadrant. Okay, if I take this to be zero and this to be two. Okay. If I take plus or minus two, then I'm actually trying to find the value of this curve in two quadrants, which will actually change the meaning of the question itself. You either take a plus two or a minus two. Okay. Sir, so basically that minus indicates anti-clockwise and clockwise rotation. That's it. My, those are the limits. The limits of x. Limits okay. of x minus two to two. So when they ask between zero to see, logically speaking, zero to two is going to give you the numerically. It is going to give you numerically the same value as that is going to happen between minus two to zero. Now, if you observe the curve, if I take a semicircle. In a semicircle, if I break it into two small quarter circles, each quarter circle is going to have the same area. Purida. Because why are we doing definite integrals? Definite integrals are mainly done to calculate the area made by the curve with the x-axis. Try to understand it. Okay. Okay. So moving on to the next one. Shall I proceed? Yeah. Listen to this. Integral of 0 to pi by 2 sin is divided by 1 plus cos square x. Okay. So here what you can do? Sorry. It's one now. If you take one plus cos square x as t, then what would be the derivative of cos square x? You will get two cos x into sin x into dx is equal to dt. Then there is an unnecessary cos x in there. What will you do with it? Is there anything that we can do? Think, 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 think. Possible we can make it up. The basics of trigonometry think of what you can do. Okay, we want to write that as two sine x by two, cos x by two. What will you do to the but integrals main objectives to eliminate the denominator? I don't want the denominator. What should I do? Sin x is the See, one plus cos square x as the rather good as taking cos square x. You go like that. Since there is no direct option available, we'll take this and see. So one plus cos square x is t. Okay, which implies two cos x into minus sin x dx is equal to t. Right. So with this, if I change the upper and the lower limit, when the lower limit of x is zero, what would be the value of t? T would be two. When the upper limit of x is pi by 2, the value of t will be 1. So, integral of, I will change the value from 2 to 1, right? Integral of 2 to 1, sin x dx is there, so sin x dx, what will it be? Minus dt divided by 2 cos x, right? 
But remember, how can I write cos x in terms of t? Cos x I can write it to cos x I can write it as root of t minus 1. Right? So sin x dx is going to be dt or minus dt divided by 2 into cos x, which is going to be root of t minus 1 into what do I have in the denominator? Again, I have a t. So this will be equal to integral of 2 to 1 minus dt divided by t into root t minus 1. Is there anything that we can do with this? We need to introduce another variable. Want to do that? This one. What is the derivative of second difference? One by s and two. You are talking about second difference. Talking about second difference. What is the derivative of second in the front x into both of x square minus here it is x minus one. If you would have got that easily, you would have got it here by minus two. What else can we do? See if you can do something in the numerator and denominator. Can you divide or multiply something? See, you, you can still solve this problem. I'm not saying you cannot, you're stuck at some point. If you're getting, let's say you, you wanted to proceed in this method, you get stuck at this particular point. Take this t minus y is equal to y square and then proceed again. Okay. Which where where do I have second squares? Okay. You want to take it? I didn't get it. You want to take secant? But there is no secant square in this problem. So why did, where did I get that idea? You have to manipulate the question in terms of secant square and then proceed. In this, you want to take uh, uh, are you getting it? Yes. Okay. So you want to put t is equal to you want to put t is equal to secant theta or secant square theta. Okay, you want to take t is equal to secant square theta. Then what will you get? E theta will be equal to two secant theta. Actually, two secant square theta into tan theta. Right. So half into integral of you have to change the limits again. When t is equal to 2, when t is 2, theta is how much? Theta is 5 by 2. Secant theta is rho coda. See, t is equal to secant square theta. What is the lower limit? Lower limit is 2. So 2 is equal to secant square theta, then secant theta will be equal to rho 2. Then theta will be equal to 5 by 2. When t is equal to 1, secant square theta is equal to 1. So secant theta will be equal to 1, theta will be equal to 0. So then what will happen? Integral of 5 by 4 to 0 minus 2 secant square theta tan theta t theta divided by t wanted to take it as secant square theta into what? Tan theta. So it's getting cancelled. So you have the answer as 2 and 2 are also gone. Minus 1 into integral of t theta is theta between 5 by 4 to 0. You will get the answer as 5 by 2. That should be the answer. Check the back one. Five by 4. You have to think there is another way. Then what I was thinking is something similar, but instead of building two variables, I was just thinking of the fact since I have I don't have the equal powers of sine and cos, 
I thought, why don't we divide the numerator and denominator with sine square or cos square? If I divide the numerator and denominator with cos square, right? What is it? Plus one. See, ordinary methods. Integral of what is it? Zero. To, what is the question? Integral of zero to pi by sine x divided by one plus cos square x dx. Correct. So divide the numerator and denominator with cos square. When I do this, you will get zero to pi by two. So sine x divided by cos square x divided by one by cos square x plus one. So you will get sine x divided by cos square x, you will get secant x tan x. Accept it? So integral of 0 to pi by 2, secant x tan x divided by secant square x plus 1 is. Now tell me what should I substitute the value? Which value should I substitute here as t? Secant x as t. When I do this, I will get secant x tan x dx will be equal to dt. So integral of lower level, t is equal to 0. Sorry, x is equal to 0. t will be 1. x is equal to pi by 2. t will be 0. So this will be equal to dt divided by 1 plus t square. Accept it. What is the answer is? Tan inverse t from 1 to 0. Limits are wrong though. So t is equal to 0, x is equal to 0. Though. Oh, it is infinite term. I'm sorry. Then it should be infinity. Uh, now, tan inverse of infinity minus tan inverse of 1. You got the answer? Pi by 2 minus pi by 4, you still get it as pi by 2. I think it is easier, but you should get the title. So, the logic is whenever the numerator, if you create a question, then you create a question. Then this I do reverse. So, numerator will make cos, denominator will be sine square. Just try using the same method, same limits. By using the same limits and the procedure. So, the general law. Cos x divided by 1 plus. N square x is we have a problem of this. Using the same alternate logic that we did for the previous problem, trying to solve this.
So what is that? So what is the formula for 1 by x square minus a square? It's minus a by Did you get the answer? Anybody who got the answer? Yeah. Yeah. So you have x minus 1 minus 17 the whole divided by by x plus 8. So this is the expected of x minus 1 minus 17 by x. Minus one plus root seventy. This should be between zero. Correct or wrong? Put it there. What do they understand? What it? X minus theta. Actually, when the two x are given, it goes. So x minus a. In the middle. So two x minus one minus root seventy. What do you want to do? Denominator of the we have two x minus one minus two seventy per we have plus two seven. So now I cancel the two and one. I wrote the final value. Now you substitute the upper limit and the lower limit. Minus one divided by root seventeen in log of one. Uh, four minus one is going to be b b minus root seventeen by b plus root seventeen. Minus log of minus one minus root seventy divided by minus one plus root seventy. Is it up? Hmm. A square one root seventy. A one root seventy by two ten. Squares or Purila? Is it the Sodria? Is it 
A square and A square on the old rate two seventy five to the whole square. No, X is the X minus one by two the X. How do you put that's what you have? So you take a dx directly I can take it to b. You better tell you t square plus root seventy by two the whole square. You get a formula for this. One by two a into log of x minus a divided by x plus x over of the t. Okay, I did nothing with the limit, but what is t? If I substitute it back, what will I get? 1 by root 70 into log of x minus half minus root 17 by 2 by x minus half plus root 17 by 2. Since I brought back the value of x minus, I take the limits. We actually did do all these steps. We directly use it. That's what 7.4 told us. 7.4 problem is another one way. Right. As long as the coefficient of x is 1 and the power of x is 1, you will not re substitute. So, what we did is right only. This have to solve this. What you need to do is this is log a by b. This is of the form log c by d. So, log a by b minus log c by d will be how much? Log a d by b c. Just know that you will get the answer. So, since we are dealing with uh, certs, that is a combination of a rational and a irrational number, you need to multiply with the conjugate and then solve that. So, when you multiply these two, right, 3 plus root 17 and minus 1 minus root 17, you will get a value. Right, that will be a combination of a rational number. You will get some number 4 or 5, I don't know how much is that, but root 17 will be there. So, whatever is the value you are getting there, multiply and divide with conjugate, you know what is rationalizing. Do that, you will get the book answer. Can you do that? Can you do it immediately? Do you pass?
This will be the style of it. Let me the style of Minus one by root seventeen. So you will multiply these two, right? You will multiply this value and this value. So how much did you get? Minus three plus three root seventeen plus root seventeen minus seventeen divided by minus three. Minus three root seventeen. Minus root seventeen. So minus three minus root seventeen. So you will have four root seventeen minus twenty divided by eight. What do you have? Minus twenty minus four root seventeen. Right. Minus one by root seventeen can write it as twenty minus four root seventeen by twenty plus four root seventeen. I took the minus sign outside and then you see. Okay, the am I clear? No race to it. Here the mark. Here the mark. See, I took the minus out inside the log. How will that come out of the log? Log of minus one is not dependent. Right. So now when you rationalize it, you will get 20 minus 4 root 30 the whole square. It should be 400 plus 16 into 17 or other one. Two seventy two uh, uh, minus eighty one sixteen times two seventeen the whole divided by four hundred minus two seventy two. You know, one twenty eight. So minus one divided by two seventy into four hundred plus two seventy two six seventy two minus one sixteen two seventy. Divided by 128. What are the common multiples? Four are. Four eight will work now. Eight is working. So minus one by two seventy If I divide with eight, I get eighty-four minus twenty root seventy divided by. You 
can simplify it by four one. This is answer matching with the one. So twenty one minus. So there is a log by the way. I forgot this log. So minus one divided by into seventeen into log of how much is it? Twenty one minus five root seventeen divided by two. This is the answer. Minus is there. This is there. No minus one. Okay. So I think the next one is also similar. Right? We'll start with that problem. Okay. So tomorrow I'll go to problem again. So wrong in any doubt? No, sir. Okay, then we'll wind up. Thank you, sir.